Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Let's learn computer science. Okay, so today our topic of discussion is number system conversions. For your syllabus reference, I have uh, mentioned here, yeah, today, in today's session, we'll be learning about convert an integer value from one number base representation to another. Now, they have mentioned in general that convert an integer value from one number base representation to another so that means you should be able to convert from binary to denary denary to binary uh, binary to hexa hexa to binary denary to hexa and hexa to denary so all conversions we'll be learning however in today's session we'll understand how we convert from binary to decimal and decimal to binary right so these two conversions we will cover in today's session and then in upcoming sessions we'll understand about other conversions so let's start uh, our first topic of discussion is binary to decimal conversions so i'll take one number as an example and uh, then i'll explain uh, how to convert that number into some other number system. So here I have taken a binary number 10101 base 2 and uh, we'll be converting into decimal number system, right? So there are two methods that I have mentioned here. So let's just learn first method. So number is 10101 will convert it into decimal using first method, right? Now, to understand this, firstly, you write your number, okay? 10101 is the number that I have taken right now. So just write your number. Then you write the place value of each number under it. So for the rightmost number, the place value is 2 raised to power 0, then 2 raised to power 1, then next 2 raised to power 2, then next 2 raised to power 3, and 2 raised to power 4. So under each digit, write its place value. Simple. So I'll just repeat. I have taken the number. Under each digit of this number, I have written its place value. So 2 raised to the power 0, 2 raised to the power 1, 2 raised to the power 2, 2 raised to the power 3, and 2 raised to the power 4. Now, next step is just multiply place value with its digit. So what does it mean? You need to multiply this place value with the digit. This place value with this digit, this place value with this digit, this place value with this digit, and this place value with this digit. So 2 raised to power 1 is 1, 1 into 1 is 1. 0 multiplied with any number is 0 always, right? 1 into 4 is 4. 0 multiplied with any number is 0 always. 1 into 2 raised to power 4 is 16. Simple. So, after writing the number, we write place value and then we multiply each place value with its respective corresponding digit. After that, we add the results. So, whatever result we received here, we will add it. Right, so 16 plus 0 plus 4 plus 0 plus 1, and answer is 21. And this is our denary number. Simple. So, write the number. I'm just repeating these steps. Write the number, write place value of each digit under it, then multiply place value with the digit. 
and then add the results. Whatever the result is, that is your denary number. Right? Let's move forward. Method two. So we have seen one method to convert binary to denary. Now there is another method also that is also similar to the above method that we have learned. Okay. So I have this time I have taken one zero. One zero. I have taken same number in fact. One zero one zero one. So write the number. Simple. First step is same like above. Right. Second, write the place values on top. So whatever this uh, number is, write the place value for each of these numbers. So remember, 2 raised to power 0 is 1, 2 raised to power 1 is 2, 2 raised to power 2 is 4, 2 raised to power 3 is 8, 2 raised to power 4 is 16. So write the place value. Now, add the place values of only places having 1 as bit value. So, wherever 1 is written, add the place values, right? So, 16 plus 4 plus 1. So, answer is 21. That is our denary number. Simple, right? Okay, now... Next is denary to binary conversions. Now, the same number that we have, uh, you know, got as an as an answer up, up, uh, in above example. So, we'll convert it into denary so that we can, uh, sorry, we'll convert it into binary so that we can check whether uh, our conversion is correct or not. So, we'll take 21 and we'll convert it into Denary. So again, I'll be explaining two methods. First method is division by two method. Okay. So what we'll do here is we will be dividing this number by two. So two is what? Base of the value to which we have to convert from denary. So that is our base. Okay. So 21 divided by 2, we get quotient here. We will we'll write quotient here. So 10 and remainder we will write here. So remainder we write here and quotient we write here. So this is our quotient and this is our remainder. Okay. So 2 divided by uh, 21 divided by 2, quotient is 10 and remainder is 1 which is written here. We will continue dividing it by 2 till the time we get a number less than 2 or 0. Either we get less than this, which is 1, or we get a 0 here as quotient, right? So, two, uh, 21 multiplied by 2, 10, remainder written here, 1. Again divided, quotient 5 written here, remainder written here. Again divided, quotient written here, remainder written here. Again divided, now 1, we got 1, so we'll not further divide it and remainder is written here. Now to write the answer, we'll start from down here, going upwards and then that is how we write the answer. So 10101. One, one. So this is our number which is exactly the same as this number that we converted to denary right so it is checked that our conversion was correct now let's have a look at the second method so in second method we will write uh, so normally in as and a level you'll get numbers eight bit long numbers for conversions uh, not beyond that so you should be writing all the place values here, right? So boxes will be given in the exam style questions. Uh, and above each box, you should be writing the place value for that uh, digit. So uh, starting from 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and 128. And these boxes, uh, 
you will have uh, you know your binary digits written inside them okay so now we have to convert uh, 21 right we have to convert 21 uh, to binary so how we convert it using method 2 so start filling the boxes under place value to make denary number right so as I said, you'll have to first, you'll have to just write the empty boxes and above them, you just have to write their place values. Now to start with, you'll start filling these boxes with the values. Now how to fill that? So as in this case, our number is 21. So we will write one in the first box where value is less than 21. So we'll put a zero under 128 because it is larger than 21. We'll put a zero under 64 because it, this is also larger than 21 and same goes here. Now, because next number is 16, so we'll put a one here because this is the first place value, uh, which is smaller than 21. So we put here one. Now, how much value is left? So we divide, uh, we uh, subtract uh, 16 uh, from 21. So what do we get? After, we, how many, uh, uh, what is the value which is left? So we are left with five now. So now we'll fill rest of the boxes to make a five, right? So till here we have written one. Now, because eight is, larger than five. So we put a zero here, four. Now four is the value which is less than five. So we put a one here. Now five minus four, we are left with only one. So here we put zero and here we put a one. So our answer is this. One, zero, one, zero, one. So these zeros, they do not have any meaning. Uh, towards the left hand side so your number is this 10101 one, one, which is exactly the same that we have got here right so that is our uh, second method so that's all for today so we have covered binary to decimal conversion we have learned two methods uh, for this and we also learned how to convert a decimal number to binary. And here also we learned two methods. One where we divided by two and second where we filled these boxes uh, under their place value, right? So that's all.